Wow. So just a bit of a top tip for anybody travelling to Cologne. We came in, dropped our bags off at this baggage thingy. Very clever. It was six euros for up to 50 kilograms of baggage. For 24 hours. For 24 hours. Wallet. So we came, dropped our bags off and we came, explored the sea. We conquered. Lovely. Mm -hmm. It works very well. You can easily fit two Ryanair suitcases, cabin suitcases in it. Wallet. What you got? Networks. What's that then? Smoked sausage, sauerkraut, and mashed potato. What have you got? Is that beef? I don't know what I've got. You got balls. Well, I've ordered it. Looks good though, wallet. But first, let me take a selfie. Hello everybody. So, checking in. We just come from Cologne. We got a train, underground tram thingy. Goes overground. That goes overground. And we're now in Brawl Sud, which apparently means south. And we've got about a 10 minute walk from the hotel. And it's proper remote. And uh, it's, it's lovely, it's really remote. Nice. Quiet. Sun's out, guns and, out, look at them. And Lou's got a new girlfriend. And I've got a new, yeah, this woman, uh, she, right, so we're on the train. There was a four seater sort of face to face sort of situation. And uh, we'll get this side. And basically, because we had the suitcases, I had this woman sit next to me on the train. She's back, oh granite. She basically uh, trying to sit on my knee. That's that really. So here we are. We'll update you when we get to the hotel. Ta ta. So you just saw us mooching around the area of Cologne. We were taken in the sights of the city for a bit while we killed time to wait for our check in. We chose this hotel because mainly it was close to the park which made it easier to get there each morning. We liked that the breakfast was included and we also liked that there was an outdoor area so we can unwind and have a drink in the evenings. But primarily we chose the hotel based on location and affordability. We managed to get the hotel through booking.com. We stopped there for three nights and altogether it cost us just over 312 pound. Because we booked through the app, we got a 10% discount. Whereas staying on site at the park was costing around 400 pound minimum without breakfast or anything included even park access and that was only for two nights. Also, the park tickets were £40 per person per day. So altogether it was £160 for two days at the park. Hello everyone, I'm gonna have to talk quiet and I'll show you why in a minute. We're not updated yet since we got to the hotel. We arrived, we got checked in alright. The walk wasn't too far actually, considering we had suitcases. And we basically got in, we got showered, and we went to the restaurant in the hotel, which was very nice actually, very sort of upmarket. And we had a burger and a beer each. And uh, and then we've got back, got comfy, and I've just been doing some editing. And they've turned around and now she's like this. She's all top top. I've been on the go since half past two. So uh, it's been a long day. I think we're going to call it a night and we shall see you tomorrow for our first day at the theme park. Who is excited? Uh, yeah, she probably would be if she was awake. Well, look. Morning, Morning, everybody. 
So we got up early this morning. And we've, uh, we've had a shower, and the shower in the hotel, I will say, is lovely. Packs a punch, yeah. doesn't it? It's, oh, it's like a jet. I mean, no, jet on your back. Anyway, uh, and we've gone down. We've had some breakfast, and the breakfast I will say was quite good, wasn't it? Lovely. Lots Called of continental breakfast. Lots to choose from. Um, it was included in our stay. It was like a buffet layout type thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had tea, uh, coffee, mm -hmm. apple, apple juice. juice. I've Very had of pancakes. Mm, uh, you I had, had some meat, some. I tried sausages and they had like sort of squashed meatballs. So I had that as well as a pancake. They had loads of um, cheeses cheeses and meats, but I think that's quite a European thing that we're just not ready for. Couldn't stomach that this morning. No. Um, and so today we're going to the park. We've already sorted out a route. We've found a bus that picks us up about five minutes away from the hotel. Can you remember what the bus was? Number was? 985. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, so we get a 985 bus, like I say, five minutes from the hotel. Um, and then it apparently it's a 10 minute walk the other side, but I think it'd be less than that, a little bit. We walk a bit quick, really. Yeah, we do walk quick. He's got long legs and I have to keep up, so I have to walk quick. Terrific. Um, so we'll probably update you when we get to the park and we might do a cheeky little montage on the way. Next um, time you see us will be at Fantasia Land. And we did get that confirmed, that's how you say it, by the, the German hotel guy. Uh, the park is called the Fantasia Land. Similar. Like the best year we've ever read. Yeah, terrific. Ta ta. So the most difficult thing we found throughout our whole travelling experience in Germany was finding a ticket for the bus. We had some advice from a lady at the park, but obviously we needed a ticket prior to that. Now you can go on the KVB app and you can have two options. You can get a one person ticket for 24 hours, which is just over six euros, or you can get a five person ticket for 24 hours which is just under 12 euros now obviously the five person ticket is better if you're traveling as a couple or anywhere up to five people really it's much more value for money So people have said that the park entrance is underwhelming and it is from the outside but on the inside look how stunning this place already is a double carousel which is unbelievable wow the theming is so nice around here Sean you were right I don't know how you do it Look at this place. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is the Start queuing here. Yeah. This is well cool. 
I mean, there's so much detail. Lighting, stunning, lovely. Ready? First ride on flight, what do you reckon? It's pretty cool. I have no idea what to expect actually. Yeah, I mean Don't tell them. there is so much going on in this roller coaster, even in the station. We can't tell you anything because you've got to come and experience it for yourself, but there's a lot of secrets along the way. And the fact that you get airtight may or may not like it pushes you back. And we went on the back, right at the back. Um, and we yeah. Like the front has already gone, and then the back just sort of pulls you along. Yeah. I really liked it. Lovely, isn't it? Come to Fantasyland. We've done one roller coaster, and we're hooked already. Wallop! It was a dance. Thought we had Charlotte. There's Ash. <laughs> That's what Ash looks like when she gets back from a good night out. Oh, yeah, look, same. So our next coaster we're going to tackle is Black Mamba. Here it comes.
so we just come off Black Mamba, which is a whopper. Got front it? row as well. Got front row, and I will say, are we doing next? there was a lot of surprises. Oh. We're going to do a sneaky hit. There were a lot of surprises on it. Very thrilling, and it throws you around a bit, doesn't it? It's quite yeah. brutal. Yeah, it is a bit brutal. Um, so it's made. The rock back there, right? like your feet feel like they're going to hit the rock. Yeah, yeah. I was just getting into it. Oh, so it's made by the same people who make Nemesis in uh, Alton Towers. So as you may expect, there was quite a few near misses with the old legs. Especially for long legs. Especially for me. My legs were tucked right under because I thought I was going to lose them. Hashtag Smiler. Um, Lewis. Sorry. No. So uh, yeah, that was quite. It's quite good. We're now going to go on Colorado Adventure, it's a mind train. which is a mine train. Um, yeah. See you in a bit. We'll let you know. You know about our full reactions. We're in the queue line now. Well up to that. Bye. Yeah. Ghost train? No, it's not. Oh. It's a mine train. Oh, not Colorado a ghost train. Adventure. All right, I've just been on Colorado Adventure. It's actually positioned behind us here. Here it is. Wallet. I think we're tired now, isn't it? Not great for the back or neck. Eh? No. Not, not good for the back or necks. Uh, it was wicked. It was well. But yeah, what's your thoughts on it? Well, yeah. I didn't like the dark bit there because I didn't know what to expect. Yeah, there's a, there's a dark bit in it and it's very dark and you don't really know which you way get you're going. All over. And yeah, you get a bit of wicked. Really long though. Was long. It went on for ages. I know, something else was long. I meant me feet. That was a kid's ride though. If I went on as a kid, I think I'd be terrified. Yeah, I know. Because I was scared even of my age. Yeah, well. Look.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. bloody wet aren't we? Oh, we're going that way. But basically we just come up these stairs because Ash thought it was a good idea. Turns out we're going back down.
You two on the drop, yeah, I think. We stopped to get some food and we we got some focaccia. I mean, I got salami. Ash got salami. I've got some Italian ham with a ton of rocket, apparently. But you don't know. Yeah. Chili. How much was it, Ash? 19 euros. Yeah, with two two cokes, medium cokes, and two focaccias. And it's made fresh as well, which is lovely. Yeah, it isn't bad, is it? Lovely. Lovely. We'll give you a taste test in a minute. This is Ashcam reporting to you live back with the taste test. 
Louis is pouring his Italian focaccia ram thingy in jiggy. Go on, get your chops around now. Go on. Mm. Who'd have bite it out? We spend that wrong. Mm. Yeah? Very nice. Lovely. Took me a mouthful. You do. Are you nice? There's a wonky. So our next ride, everybody, is potentially the best ride here, and it is Taran. Are you excited? Yeah. Cold, but excited. Why are you cold? Because I'm wet. It's 50 degrees. There she is. I don't know where she went. Over there. Ah, she's over there. A uh, rapid one, this one. So we've just been on Taran, haven't we? Yeah. What do you reckon to Taran? I think it's my favourite today. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's I all... feel like you're going to fall out. You've only got like a thingy over your lap. Yeah. That's it. The queue was a long one. It's the longest one of today. Like 40. Oh, oh my God, was it worth the wait? It, all I could hear just... was you. I had my hands in the air. No, I just don't care. I tried to, but I got faithful of my own t-shirt. And it's... Um, just fast the whole way through. It's very exhilarating. Very nippy. Very nippy. Lovely. And there it is. Yeah. I don't know whether you got that. It's disorientating Sorry. as well. You have no idea where you are. No. Very disorientating. Well. Very quick though, isn't it? Very, very fast. Very fast. I like the second launch bit. Sound like that a Chinaman now. Excited. What's this one called? Mystery Castle. Mystery Castle. It's your posh. It's not very bold. Big. Yeah, I can't understand it. Oh, right. This is nice. Wow. Hello? Where are you?
Oh man, I'm gonna fucking hit it. Continue. Oh, I'm gonna hit it. Huh? Einstein. Fucking number nine. Right, so we're gonna do that all in today and tomorrow, are we? Alright. at this moment that she knew she up. We had so much to cram in that we didn't get to film it all, but Rake was the children's ride that was nowhere near a child's ride to us. It's something you'd go on as an adult back home. But it's a ride that takes you up a hill, drops you, and then you go round it backwards as well. It's like a boomerang. Very cool. Very recommended. Don't miss it if you go to Klugheim. It's very hidden. And Taron's the main attraction, but definitely go to Rake as well. It's also pretty sick to watch while you're queuing for it as well because it goes backwards and forwards through the station. station, which is cool. So deep down in Woozy Town, there's actually more of an adult ride that you wouldn't expect. We wouldn't have known it was there without YouTube, but it's basically called Wind, Jazz, Fear and Force because it's two rides. One's fear, one's force. We went on both multiple times, but we definitely have come to the conclusion that fear is better. Force is okay, but fear is more of a punchy ride. A lot more surprises. Yeah, there's some really bizarre bits in it that you just wouldn't expect. There's also a VR experience ride there called Crazy Bats. Now, this is also meant to be aimed at children, but I absolutely loved it. You're essentially on an ice cube in a mansion and the ice cube is melting and you can actually feel yourself it's a roller coaster and you can feel yourself getting lower to the floor as the ice cube melts and it's 
quite a fun experience to be yeah. on quite actually quite a fast roller coaster with a VR headset on. Yeah. And I've been on Galactica at Alton Towers with the VR headset and it is nothing of the same experience as what this is. It's completely different. It's so, massive in every way. Yeah, so don't go on that expecting it to be like Galactica was when it was VR because it's nothing the same. Your expectations will be blown because you went on thinking this is going to be rubbish but actually came off so surprised. Yeah, and actually buzzing about it, like quite excited about it. Like a kid. Like a kid, yeah, wallop. So, Mouse of Chocolat, that's me furthest interpretation of French I can get you without butchering it too much, is a experience ride with 3D glasses and it's a shooting game. And basically it's this sort of French patisserie, bakery, chocolate cake cafe, would you say? Yeah. Um, and you always have to shoot all these little mouse that are getting around and infesting all the cakes and eating them all. Another one that we did that you saw us on the way to, but uh, and you also saw the queue line for, but we wasn't able to get any on-ride footage, was Mr. Le Castle. I absolutely hate drop towers at the best of times. I literally will do anything to avoid going on them. It turns out we went on this one twice uh, due to Ash forcing me. Because Ash loves drop towers. We went on it, it turns out you're 213 feet in the air and it's pitch black. You all drop at different heights, so you hear people screaming at different times, which is the most awful feeling in the world for me. Um, and altogether, I just absolutely hated it, but Ash absolutely loved it. Hence why we went on it twice. So that sums up our travel to Fantasialand. The theme park was absolutely stunning. It was amazing to go. We both absolutely loved it and we would definitely 100% return back to the park. It was just an experience that none of us could describe. The theming, the coasters and the whole atmosphere was just amazing and made the whole trip for us. We then went back to Cologne the next day. We had a mooch about. We went to the Lint Chocolate Museum. This wasn't the best of places to visit, but it definitely killed an hour or so. And we can also recommend, even if you don't look around the museum, go and have a drink, have a dessert or something, because it's actually worth the money. You can sit out on the river side, which is stunning on a nice day. So that's also a great thing to do. We then got the plane back that night and arrived back home early the next morning so it was definitely a very tiring day for us we do really hope that you've enjoyed this video it's a long one but we've absolutely enjoyed every moment of making it it's been a blast to go on this trip away we hope that you liked coming along with us really and if you did like this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment below of what you thought looked like your favorite coaster if you've been before please leave a comment and let us know which one is your favorite coaster then we hope that actually you go along yourself and use this as a little travel guide for you to help you on your journey to Fantasia Land. Thank you so much for watching everybody and we will see you in the next video. Hello everybody, yeah. we're back for day two, although this is going to go in one video because uh, I forgot my memory card, my GoPro. Okay. So uh, we're going to put these videos together in one day. No, a lot of filming going on to do. No. But we're back. Uh, we're very achy and tired. Hi. But we've just been on Black Mamba. So we've gone straight in it. And uh, it's actually better today. It felt better, didn't it? We was near the back. Second one from the back. Yeah, it was good to wake up. So we are going to put a few clips in from today. But not a lot. It's Ash copped up. It's me, actually. Oh, well. See you in a bit. Bye.